cross that out. Um, Hi Marie. Sorry, my hair's a bit of a mess. Oof. It's just the problem with this. I finally got this going. I had a problem, my um I I couldn't get my um Sandra, you're back. Hello. Hello everybody. Um it's not a bad day. It's not a particularly good day, Marie, but it's not too much of a bad day. I wonder if I can turn my... What am I turn? No! Rotate device. Yes, ro Oh, yes, it did! Can you see me sideways? How do I... Okay. Okay, I'm going to try and find my... <laughs> my live stream. Um... On my laptop. <laughs> Don't know what I'm doing. Okay, go to my mama, my mama, my mama, my mama. Oh my goodness, I had nine views and there was nobody there. <laughs> Hang on, everybody. I'm trying to. Okay, I hate the speaker to mute it. All right, um, go to, uh, where am I going? <laughs> Pull my channel. Okay. Okay. There we go, I found it. Oh, that's a bit of a wonky, uh, a thumbnail, but never mind. Okay. A thumbnail. Yes! Okay, now that's not nice. How do I rotate the device? <laughs> it's only going to let me go up and down. And... And it looks like I'm going to be buffering jazz. Okay. It's telling me I have a very bad connection, but <laughs> that's to be expected, I guess. Um. Okay, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna stand you up there. Have to start a new one and leave it horizontal. <laughs> Hi, Dale. Um, does this look too bad? Does it mean does it look bad this way, or should I go back and start again? Hi, Susan. Wow, there's a lot of people coming. In. Didn't expect this many people. Okay, I'll just roll with it then, all right. So, I decided what I would do. Let me turn. <clears throat> okay, we're just gonna have to bear with me because I'm at the other end of the house and the Wi-Fi is at the opposite end of the house. But I bought, we got this this rack you got snow oh my gosh no keep it Dale I don't want it here oh no so I got this rack so I'm using this to help me sort out my closet um, okay I'll stand you there oh there we go See my cupboard. Let me turn it this way. And I did find a few things that um 
that still that fit me and I found this one that I'll surprise hubby with for Christmas I wear this over the holidays it's got some frilly bits on it so Now, some of the things that I have are, are new. Thank you, Sandra. Susan, you got six inches of snow. Oh, no, 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 no. You've got three inch right now, Dale. Oh, my gosh. Nope. <laughs> I'm getting cold. <laughs> I, I got the shivers just thinking about it. Okay. So... If anything, buddy, buddy sees anything they might like, <laughs> let me know, and <laughs> you can. I'll send you it. Um, because a lot of these things, this was never one. I did wash it, because I had to wash a lot of my stuff when I burnt my um, my pan in the kitchen. Stainless steel does not smell nice once it's <laughs> burnt. Uh, so. And this is a Jacqueline Smith and it's a size small and it no longer fits me. It's one of those, it's, it's quite long. So. so I think I shall see if nobody if, if somebody if they don't decide nobody wants them, I think I might actually cut some of them and um, make something out of them that I can actually wear by adding in extra material down the seams down the inside seams here yeah the colour is beautiful it really is nice it's just a shame it doesn't fit but I might be able to make it fit by adding some in the um, in the inside seams so actually, you know what, I think I'll keep this one to one side. It's too small for you. Your mama back. <laughs> oh. Let's pack it up and ship it to... <laughs> no, don't send me Snowdale, <laughs> please. <laughs> okay, I'll keep that one out. All right. This is a... A little dress and it's let me see it's well on me it's about two inches or three inches below the knee but on somebody that's five foot or, or five foot two it'll be about knee length and um, it's rayon says dry clean only um, Paris Sport. It's Paris Sport. And, uh, it's a size 3. It's a size 3. Um, it's nice. It really is. The material actually is nice. If I don't sell it... Well, actually, I'm saying it doesn't fit. Well, no... Shall I try it on? No, way too small. <laughs> well, at one time I used to weigh 85 pounds, um, which is too little for me. Um, my ideal weight is 105 to 110, but I'm now about 125-8ish. So, um, I'm in Kansas, Dale. I'm in Kansas. Okay, I'm going to put that to one side to try on. But I have a feeling that size 3 is going to be way too small. This one I'm going to keep. Although it looks small, it's that stretchy material. So it fits. And I can put use that for during the summer. But I'm going to change the hanger over. I'm real fussy about the hanger. Oh. Okay, I'll 
much. I'll put that at the back. But that's for summer. Oh. Okay. Ooh! Ladies. That's your ideal weight. But. Oh, you are. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm, I'm 50. Well, kind of. Sort of just past the middle of 50. That's not, that's pretty. That one will still fit. <clears throat> Maybe not in the arms. This was one my mommy sent me. Oh, it's inside out. I hang, I hang, ladies and guys, I, I hang. Have you ever taken something that's been hanging on a hanger a while and it has this pointy thing sticking out both sides? on your shoulders like you've got little horns well that's because it's been sitting on the hanger and you get this bit sticking out so I turn the stuff inside out and hang it up <coughs> and then um, hi Brian hang it up inside out and then you don't get those pointy things on your shoulders because they go in and your shoulders actually then smooth it out. So, but, let me see. Oh, I don't know. I mean, that doesn't even reach the mix. <laughs> Hi, Brian. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Actually, I might be able to put some um, extra material down the side there. I'll have to. That's another try on thing. So I'll put that to one side. Because right now I'm just trying to get stuff out of my closet. We had a few burglaries and unfortunately they did go into our closets and, and, and what have you and stole stuff. Okay. Shapely, size 12. This looks rather big. It looks a bit big for me. Mind you, it might fit. It's just I'm not used to seeing things. Oh, <laughs> surprise, surprise, it fits. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, I do have a t-shirt on. Underneath there is a size medium that's too big for me. So, and once I get my tummy issue sorted out, but I'm not pregnant. I could get away with it though, but I'm not pregnant. Um, but once I get my tummy issue sorted out, I should be, should fit, right? What do you think? Oh, you mean why am I ox using oxygen? Um, because I have, I have, I need a double lung transplant. Um, I, I've had bronchitis, chronic bronchitis since childhood. Um, and then in my 20s and 30s I was looking after special needs children and uh, that's when uh, lupus started to really come out and show its head and uh, I started getting a lot of pneumonias every time the kids were sick I would get pneumonia because um, because um, really children are germ factories <laughs> I mean I love kids but the germ factories they really are um, and especially when they sneeze and the buckers hit you sorry but that's literally how it goes when you're looking after kids as some of you out there already know. Um, and then I developed adult onset asthma. Um, I, I did something really stupid. I had a had some birds, and they were their cage was on top of a dresser. And I was cleaning one day, and I was on the floor because I was cleaning the baseboards, and I noticed a pile of seeds 
underneath the um, underneath the dresser. So rather than go and get the vacuum and suck the seeds up, I'm on the floor with my head on the carpet like this, looking towards the underneath the dresser. I reach under and I start scraping the seeds, and I ended up scraping all the seeds, the mice poop, dried up mice pee, dried up mice scales all over me. Um, and it caused me a problem with my breathing. Um, so I ended up with adult onset asthma. And yes, rodents are now my trigger. Um, hi beggars, hi honey. And then, oh, in 2004, I decided to buy a ceramics studio. Um, a ceramics and porcelain studio and um, within six months I ended up in hospital with adult respiratory distress. Um, at the time I was diagnosed with uncontrolled asthma. I was sent home on oxygen with the idea of weaning me off the oxygen <laughs> But I did something very stupid and I went and took my oxygen concentrator with me to my studio and the clay and porcelain dust is so fine it can get through normal filters. You actually really need a respirator to use clay like that as, as much as I was. And in such an enclosed area as I was, what I was using, I was using the face mask, but it didn't occur to me that the, was the oxygen concentrator was running, it was pumping the dust directly into my lungs. <laughs> so I damaged my lungs. Um, What can I say? I was stupid. I should have quit when I landed in hospital, although I'd only had the studio for six months. But I'm stubborn and I'm stupid. So, hi Christy! Hi honey! So, ah, it's okay Sandra. It, it's a life, life lesson, you know, it's one of those things that you learn. Unfortunately, I always learn everything the hard way. As you already saw earlier tonight with a laptop, I should have just gone straight to the phone and it would have been easier, wouldn't it? So, um, now I'm, you know, working towards a, a getting listed for a double lung transplant. Yeah, we all do things we do regret. I mean, we really shouldn't regret things. As We should just learn from things and, and things that we've learned, we really should you know, pass that knowledge on to other people, um, which is something that I'm, I'm trying to do. Um, I've yet to get myself a little bit more organized um, so my brain's not as scattered. All right. Well, that's the top. Nope, I put it with the top, Jill. Sorry, you know, um, I haven't quite got this in the right place so that you can see where I'm going when I disappear over this way. Oh, bless you. Thank you. Oh. Your wife must have a lot of patience, Dale. <laughs> oh. Okay. I think this one might fit. Well, we shall see. This one is an easy try on. So I've tried a wire coat hanger. <gasps> Look, guys, another wire coat hanger. I can, I can make something with this. <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I have to be honest, my patience is not what it used to be. Yep, that's my another cell phone holder. Actually, I should make one so that they, it's a standing cell phone thingy holder thingy. Well, this is a little bit 
Well, yeah, it's a little bit tight, but I don't. It's. It, I don't have to wear it closed, do I? I mean, it looks. It would make a nice light jacket. Patience is overrated. <laughs> I love it. I'll, I'll tell my husband that next time. <laughs> he tells me now. Now patience. <laughs> Yeah, that one's nice. I can wear that. I can wear a a, a, a tank underneath that and wear it kind of like a jacket. And this, oh actually, you know what, I'm going to turn this inside out because this is a thicker coat hanger. And I don't want the horns on my shoulders to show, although they are already there. Just hide them. So, anybody up to anything special tonight? Uh, Christy is a young lady um, who is having breathing problems too, and I'm trying to to support her as best I can and mentor her. Hey, Susan. black mold, yeah. Well, I, I wouldn't say self-destruction by smoking, honey. Who who knew? You know, um, it, it. I read something not so long ago. Oh no, I didn't read. I I saw something not so long ago, but I think I posted it on my posted it, posted post put put a post. I put no, I put anyway on my um on my uh, Facebook fundraiser page, um, and the link is below. Um, well, it might not be below this, but it's below in my um, it's in my about page. And uh, somebody said that no matter what the disease is, there isn't there should be no blame because nobody deserves to get sick, no matter what it is. Um, so there should be no no blame whatsoever. And Saka, oh honey, Susan, big hugs. I'm gonna get, okay, coming in close. Big hug. If you need any, if I can help you at all, Susan, don't be afraid to contact me. Don't be afraid to contact me at all. Ah, uh, thank you, Brian. Yes, it is the way of life. Um, you know, disease happens. Um, whether we're to blame or not, you know, it, it can be something that you ate, it could be something that you drank. Um, it's, it's just the way that it is. Oh my gosh, Sandra, you survived a trip to Walmart. <laughs> You're lucky. <laughs> Try to stay away from that place <laughs> right now. <laughs> uh. Okay, I know I know this guy's in the room, but ladies, I decided to get these because, well, something got a little bit bigger on me that normally isn't that big. Um, well, it's not big compared to a lot of my people, the ladies in my family, and I ended up getting. What did I? What size did I get? I got size 38 just for comfort because of the problem with my back and everything but I still feel like I'm being strangled I must be wearing them wrong or something <laughs> so I've only tried them on if anybody out there 
you can have them. I'll go back to my tank tops. And then there's this this one here with the with the cross strap at the back. Uh, snug, Sandra. I feel like I'm in them. I mean, they're, they're just. I'm not used to wearing. You know, I'm not used to wearing those things. So, but I thought, you know, because I'm at age and because something's kind of gotten a little, and it's going a little bit further down, I thought maybe. Oh, thank you, Cab. Anybody, anyone that's in the live stream, you know, sub to each other because everybody that's in here so far are really nice people and they're really beautiful souls. And and Cab, he puts on a lot of live streams lately. I need a good sports bra. Well, I don't know where I would get one from because I, 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 I never really... A table sword, yeah. Brian, I use um really, no, to, well, I use really raw honey in it, but I use Bragg's apple cider vinegar. And I don't add it with water. What I do is I use Bragg's apple cider vinegar and then I use a, a spoonful of honey to sweeten it a little bit and then just drink it down that way. But take care, Cab. I love you. So, ladies, if anybody wants, let me know. You can send me a message on my About page. They're not going back in my closet. I mean, they're brand new. I tried them on and then... That's it. How exactly do live streams work on YouTube? Um, you need an encoder. Uh, yes, I do. I, I, Christy and I, Christy has problems with her breathing too, and I've been trying to to mentor her. Of course, she's young and stubborn. <coughs> Smacked up my sack. Now, she's um, she's she's a sweet lady, sweet young girl. Well, not young girl. She's uh, a sweet young lady. So, we go back a while. They're too small for you too, Susan? Oh, gosh. Well, <laughs> Christy. <laughs> Good night, Pickers, honey. Eventually, I'll learn how to do the live streams where people can come in and join me. JC Penny. Okay. Vanity Fair. Ah. Full figure, but okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Sandra. I'll look at that. Yeah, I figured that's what you meant. Um, I'm in Kansas, Brian. I don't mind putting out where I am. Yeah, I kind of figure I'm a bit too old to be walking around without. You don't have my number anymore, Christy? All right, honey. I'll, I'll message it to you later. <laughs> Thank you, Sandra. Thank you, Sandra. Okay. Now, this is a dress that I bought a long time ago. And it was actually, I lost that much weight, it was too big for me. And then it disappeared out of my closet. And I um, found it in the neighbor's yard sale. So, shall I try it on? See if it fits? 
because it really is a nice dress. It might be a bit too long. <laughs> okay, I'm going to drop you down by my feet for a minute. Oops. That's not my feet, is it? That's my hands. Okay. Can you? Nope, you still can't see. Get your finger out of the way, Jill. Okay. Oh, we're getting there. I'm sorry if I'm making you dizzy. But, oh well. It, let's just say it's pooling on the floor. <laughs> it's pooling on the floor. It's a bit, bit long for me. Um, I guess if I wore some high heels, some of those six inch high heels that everybody is wearing, <clears throat> that might fit. Oh, Susan, I, I can't tell you the amount of stuff that was stolen. I mean, even a dresser full of clothes and... Uh, yep, that's where Dorothy is from, Brian. Liam got you a new service dog. Good, because... I was kind of concerned. I could see that the training wasn't too good with the other one. <laughs> it wasn't learning very well. Great peonies. Okay, that's good. Okay, well, hopefully you can um, train her and train her right. If you need help, let me know. Okay, guys, I'm going to try this on real quick. Make sure you can't see me in the mirror. <laughs> oh, take my glasses off. The only problem with trying clothes on is I keep getting stuck with the oxygen line. Okay. Make sure I put it on the right way around. That would help, wouldn't it? Still too big. Well, it's not really too long. Well, see, I when I tried it on, I knew it was too big, but I got it in the idea that I could take it in. I could still do that if I can get my sewing machine. I could still take it in here at the arms, right? But I'm never do that. I could do that though, and shape it in at the waist, because that's all the only. Okay, put, put your shoulders down, Joe, because that's the only place it needs to it needs working on is right there. train that goes on the floor. <coughs> okay, nice. Right. Okay. Put my glasses on so I can see. You have a giveaway. 
Monday through Friday, five to six. Okay, North Carolina time. Every day, one big way, one big giveaway on Wednesday on your live chat. Okay, and that's five to six, Brian. Okay, everybody will go there. Okay, now this is a size. It's Lane Bryant. And, oh, well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's size 18 to 20. Oh, that's why I bought it. Because the, the outer, this, the, the pat, pat, pattern, the patterned part of it is actually 100% silk. And the lining is polyester. And I thought that I'd be able to take that bit just at the side here. And I'll hold the bottom. Hold it up so that you can see. It has this little train that goes with it. So that's the and then the front. That's the front at the bottom. So if anybody out there would like it before I butcher it, let me know. Um, I guess when I. I can edit this and add photographs, a full length photograph of it. So I'm not going to screw this up. I'm not going to put this away. I'm actually going to put this. Um, to one side. somewhere yes it sure helps having people to talk to now this one I know I'm going to keep it's inside out oh but it's one of those throw on easy wear things and it has this pattern on it on the inside you got to be subscribed and hit the notification bell um, in Brian's, and it's it's me Brian um, is his name, and he has a giveaway Monday through Friday, from five to six, North Carolina time, um, and then a big giveaway on Wednesdays on his live chat stream. So, if anybody's out there. Can go, go subscribe to him and hit his notification bell, and you never know what you might get. Okay, so let's put that over here with the dresses. Yeah, the idea is to get rid of things that I'm not going to be wearing anymore. And the all coins giveaway. Oh, cool! Alright, this one I know will fit. So I'm going to save that one over here with the shirts. Um, I think I need some bottoms. Now, I know this is not going to fit me anymore. It's a junior size 7 to 9. If anyone's out there. <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt to try and put that back on. <clears throat> it was actually a bit big for me at one time. Oh, cat! Come on, off my bed. Off my bed. You snuck up there. Here's one of my boys. He's a big boy. Oh. You say hi to the people. Say hello. Just curling up on my mummy's bed. I'm trying to keep them off while I'm. And look. By a coat hanger. Okay, so that one I'm going to fold up and put away. If anybody out there is a size 79 junior, you can come. Let me know. 
because it's actually a bit young for me to be wearing again. Yeah, he's, um, he was coins from around the world. Oh, that's really cool, Brian. Um, my cat, his brother is a, um, part Maine Coon, part Tabby. Um, their mom was a feral cat, but she was only like a yearling. And she had a litter of 12 cats underneath our deck. And, um, we heard crying for about 24 hours and decide, well, we decided to go and investigate to see what was happening and there was only what I thought was one cat left, one kitten, one baby left. Um, and she was off to the side. She was very skinny and she didn't look very healthy so I left them. I left her and the kitten alone and I just kept eye and eye on them which was easy because you know I could look through the gap in the pieces of wood from the top of the deck and I watched out and she didn't go feed the kid the baby no nothing so I waited another eight hours and by that time the baby should have had two feeds already um, but she didn't go any she just stood by watching she didn't go feed it so I went to bring it in and I picked it up only to find there was another kitten right behind the first one. And the second kitten was my main coon crossbury. <laughs> Tiny little thing <laughs> when I went to pick it up and it's like mm -mm. So we brought them in the house and as I walked around the house, Mama followed us. And as I came in the house, she started to walk away. Then she turned around and she looked and then she carried on and she walked off. It's almost as if she was waiting for us to go down there and get them and, and bring them in. Um, so the Maine Coon mix I had to revive about five times. Um, the Tabby that you just saw, I had to revive him two or three times. I can't remember exactly. Um... And about two weeks later, we, my hubby saw her at a house down the street with the other ten kittens. And they had given her, it was a white picket fence around the, 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 the front garden. And they, she had a beautiful cat house and her and the kittens were, were playing. So... Um, I was raising them with the intent that I would be, you know, giving them to nice homes. I wasn't going to keep them because we already had a cat and a dog at that point. Um, now we have three cats and one dog, so I couldn't get rid of them. I just couldn't do it. It's not in me to do it. They were my babies. Okay, these shirts I'm going to keep. Oh, these shirts I'm going to keep. These are, again, 100% raw silk. That's one of hubbies, but I like to wear it as a work shirt they throw on over the top of something. But who doesn't like to have denim work shirts, huh? Yeah. So those I know still fit. Oh. I already took some stuff out and I was just starting to get to a point where I was wanting to sit down and not carry on anymore, so that's why I decided to start the live stream so I could I could gab while I was working. That seems to make things go a bit easier, doesn't it?
This one I'm not going to keep. It needs to be ironed. But it's um, Ann Taylor Loft. And it's a size 8 if you would like to. If anybody would like it. And do a video chat. So sure, Christy. Sure we can, honey. Okay. So that one I'm not going to keep in my closet. I really am not. Oh, it's the kind of thing where you can roll the sleeves up. And fasten them up. Or you can um, have them long sleeve. Like I said, it's a uh, Ann Taylor Loft size 8 if anybody wants it. You're welcome, Christy, honey. To learn not to be so particular. Yep. The only reason why I'm not keeping this one is because it does need ironing, and I'm, I'm, I'm past, <laughs> I'm past doing, standing there for hours doing ironing. Yes, that shirt I will give away, Christy. If it's your size, you can have it, honey. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Shan Sandra. I'm, I'm glad you made it too. I would have given up if you hadn't have if you hadn't have like started chatting with me earlier. Um Yeah, I do, Brian. I do take I take apple cider vinegar. I use the apple cider vinegar. All right, Christy. Yeah, give me your address um, in Messenger. Send me your address in Messenger. And I'll send you that shirt. <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm not alone, Sandra. I really did. I really thought I was... I'm I'm not the one for giving up easily, but no matter what I tried to do, I couldn't. Um, I couldn't. The <laughs> sorry, the cat's underneath playing with a. Um... <laughs> Let me see if I can get him. Oh, oh. Um, this is the main cool. Oh. This is my main cool. Tabby mix. This is my baby. Oh, thank you, Brian. Thank you so much. Thank you for stopping by. But yeah, this is my baby. Yep, he's huge. When he when he was little, he used to hang around my shot my neck. But he he can't do that anymore. He stopped doing it because he got too big. Off. Oh. He says I can see myself in that thing there. I don't like it. Look at the size of his paw. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, he's a mama's baby. Um, down you go. You can go play with it. The hanger again. He was playing with the hanger underneath. From he was. He was reaching out with his paw from underneath the bed. No, don't get on the bed, baby. Down you go. Thank you. Oh yeah, I'd love to see that picture. I'd love to see that picture. But yeah, he's huge. 
Could you imagine if he was full bred Maine Coon? He would absolutely be massive. And it's so funny because when he walks, he from the back he has these pair. He what? It looks like he has um, Cossack pants on, fluffy Cossack pants on. <laughs> yeah, he is a tiger. In fact, his name is Tigger. No, come on, baby. I don't want to shut you out, but I don't want you on the bed. Not while I'm putting clean clothes on. Okay. No, you don't. I shouldn't have brought you out, should I? Yeah, I love you too. I really do. Okay. Oh, there's stuff in the bottom of my cupboard I've got to get out yet. That was all stuffed in there. I was trying to... When my hubby was trying to reorganise. This is a nice summer one. I'll keep this because this works. Hi, Skeeter. Your cat is 20 pounds. Do you know what? I don't really know how much my cat weighs. I guess I could um, stand on the scale with him. This one I'm keeping. Because although it says, it says it's a size small, but there's no way that's a small, trust me. It's still a bit big on me now. <laughs> okay. This is a onesie. It's a hoodie. And it has my name on it. It's real comfy. I love it for winter. Um, my hubby. This is what I wore when I came home from hospital in, in 2013 when I I wasn't expected to live, but I made it! Oops! <laughs> but I did, I made it! Yes! Yes, they are great for mice. Um, we had a problem with mice coming in through the garage. And they were actually coming in through um, a hall where the electric cable comes in. Of course I did. So thank God I'm alive. And it was freezing cold because it was in um, the end of February. Big well, yeah, the end of February. I went in in, in December and came home then. Yeah, yeah, I'm a fighter. Even on days where I want to give in, there's something just deep down inside that won't give in. It says, nope, get up, woman, and move. Even if it's just from the bed to the living room sofa. Snuggle under a blanket with my dog. We all have those days, right? And you're allowed to have those days, you just don't stay there. Okay, now, this is too small, I think. Let me try it on. They're supposed to be like capri pants, but they all come all the way down to my, to the tops of my shoes, my ankles. This one, I think, only got worn once. Oh. <laughs> oh, it fits. Oh my gosh, I'm surprised it fits.
It'll fit better without this baggy t-shirt on. Ha! Don't know about the colour though, it's a bit washy. Okay, so that's another something. This I can at least wear in the house when it's chilly. Look, see? See see that pointy thing that I'm telling you about? With the coat hangers? So I'm going to turn that inside out. And that will reverse that horn pointy thingy. So that when I put it on... It won't be there, my shoulders will flatten it out. Okay. Alright, so. No button, the top button. <laughs> Okay, that'll work. So I shall put that. Where the hell was there? Oh! I nearly fell over. I nearly fell over. Thanks, Christy. Thanks, honey. <clears throat> Alright, nope. These won't work. That's for sure. And I didn't alter them. So they are full length. Let's see what size they are. They're hipsters. Well, they look like hipsters. And they are size. They're again, the Ann Taylor. Margot size 6. I am tired, Susan. So if anybody wants these, I mean, actually, I could make something out of these, because it's that kind of material. Maybe I will, and maybe I won't, but I'll put them up, I'll put a photo up. Yep, I think I'm going to have to stop shortly. But you know, at least we've got half of my closet done. Yes! Thank you! Okay. So if anybody knows of somebody who's a size 6, a size 10 in pants, I'll let you know, Christy, but I don't think so, honey. Um, the only reason why I have this is because these are what somebody else passed on to me um, a while ago. But um, if anybody knows of anyone who is a size 6, or is that size 8? Nope, that's definitely size 6. And Taylor. I mean, I never wore them, and they are nice. In fact, I don't know if you can see there. It looks like she took the t the um. Looks like she took the label off before she sent them to me. So, and they feel brand new. But if nobody claims them, then I'll. Oh no, the black ones are no good. Something was spilt on the black ones. Yeah, something was spilt on the black ones, but the cream ones are okay. But I shall definitely be able to make something out of these. They won't go to waste, that's for sure. Maybe I can make a skirt out of them. Cut them and sew them together like a skirt uh, 
Okay. That that's true. And I will do another live stream. Most likely tomorrow. Because I really want to get this finished and done. Um I've been working on my room for uh, a month now. Um, slowly getting them sorted out. <laughs> well, yeah, my waist kind of grew, but I'm hoping that I'll be able to get this sorted out soon. Oh, yes. Oh, that's wonderful, Susan. I hope you'll be able to stay off them. I'm so happy. The only steroids I have now are with my breathing treatments. Um, you had an attack this morning. Oh, honey. Yep, it's really hard when you get that low on steroids, when you get to such a low dose. Your, your body has to, you sort of have to relearn your limitations and and learn what your relearn what your triggers are because it'll the steroids will stop your body from reacting to your triggers so I, I hope that you'll be able to sort that out um, abuterol and ipotropium okay um, you might want to Talk to your doctor about um, um, Bravana because that's the one thing that's helped me a great deal um, because I used to constantly wheeze all the time. So talk to your doctor and see if you can, you know, add... Um, Bravana. Now it is expensive because not many insurance companies cover it. Yeah, that that can happen, Susan. Um, when I went to the transplant clinic in Texas, um, he asked me why I wasn't on X, Y, and Z along with my nebulizer treatments that I'm on. And I have two nebulizer treatments, well, mm -hmm. two med of two nebulizer medications that I take twice a day, and and then I have the rescue that I have. Um, you see, I can't use I can't use the discus and I can't use the inhalers because I don't have enough to get the stuff in. Um, and if you're finding that it's not that your medications are not helping you, come out of the closet. <laughs> hey, Skeeter. <laughs> Say, look, my closet's just about done. Well, half of it is. <laughs> you do 10 breather treatments a day. Susan, that's way too much. That's way too much. Um, the breathing treatments can actually trigger spasms. And can actually make your breathing worse. They can actually trigger bronchial spasms. And make your breathings worse. Um, can also cause your heart rate and pressure to go up too much. And when that happens, that also affects your breathing. So you've got this big cycle going on. And you need to bring it down. I, I I know, honey. I know. I, I know. I, I understand. But you still need to get down a bit. Try Talk to your doctor about Bravana. And talk to your doctor about changing to a nebulizer rather than using the discus or the inhalers. And, and see if that helps you better. Um, I know in some countries, good girl, 
I know in some countries they've stopped nebulizer because they've decided that it really doesn't make a difference but it does it makes a huge difference because if you're if you don't have enough pull when you're in it's going to stay in your upper airways when you need to, to go down into your lower airways for it really to do the work and with nebulizer treatments it's a fine mist and as you're breathing it will just naturally because it's such a fine mist and it's a continuous mist it does get down into the areas that it needs to get to so let me know how it goes Susan and uh, we'll see if we can figure something out to, to, to help you you know do maybe two less breathing treatments to start with um, because my gosh honey that that's that's gonna be tough on your system it really is it really is my heart goes out to you because I, I was at one point every four hours now I'm twice a day and um, you know I, I when I talked with my pulmonologist um, and I told him what the transplant doctor said about wanting me to be on all these other medications. He said, well, he needs to go back to school. <laughs> um, because the idea was there's no point in over-treating just because it's the latest and newest or just because you, you, you have to go with how it works with the patient. And you have to really go backwards and forwards and, and, and use different ones and try different ones and different combinations to find what works for you the best and it takes a while um, but it's worth it in the long run to, to get there so yeah twice a day that's good Christy so let me know how it goes Susan because 